It is identity. It really is, in my opinion, it's not the privacy regulation. It's not the privacy regulation, right? Because those regulations that they exist to help all of us do our job um, uh, with, with a higher degree of accountability and to make sure that we're treating data correctly, that we're doing the right thing for people um, and their privacy. And so I don't think it's that. I, I think it's the agenda of these tech companies. Yeah. Um, I think that these tech companies are cracking down on identity, riding the wave of um, the regulation. But at the end of the day, what they're really doing is they're they're serving their own purposes, right? And so that has had a big impact in, in what we've been doing more recently. Um, thankfully, we saw a lot of this coming in a couple of years back. We did start uh, you know, a subscription business model. Um, and so we've been working more and more on that over the course of this year as well. First party data and subscriptions really are the two areas of focus for us. From a subscription standpoint, um, I'd say, you know, we are following that freemium model where our free user base is the one that sets the stage in, you know, and, and moves into um, our premium, our premium customers. And so for us there, it's really, we've spent a lot of time working on that, again, deliberate user journey, making sure that upsells are contextual uh, to what the user is, is trying to solve for at the time, that the messaging is presented in the right place to the right user um, and all that sort of stuff. And we are seeing all of that really deliberate work pay off. Um, we're seeing the dividends on that. Uh, our subscriber base is highly engaged uh, and, and very satisfied. Uh, and so we'll continue focusing on that as well. But that is, I think, the other side of, of how all of this has changed our strategy. Um, you know, first party data, identity, and then subscriptions. And I, I think that's common, I think, in the marketplace.